Have you ever came across Untitled Dot Blend? I made an add-on to fix that. Alright guys, how's it going? Now first and foremost, I would just like to point out, generally when I make an add-on, I just make it for myself. I'll put the download link in the description down below, you're more than welcome to download it for free. If you want to give a donation, I will happily accept that donation, hashtag new monitor fund. But what I do recommend is you download it first, check it out, make sure everything is working okay. I cannot guarantee that it will work on Mac or Linux, in theory it should, but I can't promise anything, so just check it out, make sure everything's cool before you can part your money, if you do, please do. But anyway, whether you use this add-on or not, it's always good to have proper file naming conventions, as in proper Blender files, as in folders. So I made a very simple add-on, and if you go to the scene proper, it's here on the right hand side, you can see here Blender Starter Project. Now it might be down the bottom of the list, you might want to drag it up. Initially I was going to put it in the end panel, but it gets so busy, so I just made it part of the scene properties. And it's pretty damn easy to use to be honest. So it's good practice to do this before you even start doing anything inside of Blender. Project name, I'll call this my first project. Project location, I'll use the file browser. Now one thing that I do strongly recommend is, if you go to the settings here, disable relative path. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select Dropbox, and you should get a link something like this. Now we have two different options, automatic setup or custom setup. Custom setup just lets you quickly create folders. So let's call this HDRI, let's call this client, let's call this textures. And if you would like to create a subfolder, what you can do for example is mesh, you can double backslash and we'll call this objects. Now you can see here we have Blender save options. Open folder window on build, so when you build it, it'll actually just open up the window browser. Save Blender with version number, so what this will do is it will actually inject version 001 into the first Blender file. So I'm just going to call it my first Blender file. You can remap the relative in terms of the file, or you can compress the dot .blend, probably best leaving compress off for now. And all you do is hit build project. And you can see here, it automatically sets everything up for you. You have all your folders, and you have my first Blend version 001, and everything's set up. Now the reason I made it version 001 is because I've built an incremental save tool, which I might release later down the week, but anyway, different story. So you can see here, project setup, automatic setup. If you actually go into the preferences of the add-on, add-on preferences, you can see here we have folders ready to be populated. Now what you can do here is you can populate these with ones you use all the time. And again, if you want to do a subfolder, just do a double backslash. And next time when you go to create your folder, that will all be set up for you. And all you do is select automatic setup here. And that really is the add-on. It's very basic. I don't know if you'll find value in it. If you do, you're more than welcome to download it. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Support me in Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care.